The Ohio Turnpike Commission officially launching its new toll booth collection system. The executive director says the changes will meet modern concerns. And our Michael Sandlin got a look at one of those modernized booths just off exit 49 in Swanton. Take a look. This is it, the Ohio Turnpike's new modern turnpike tolling system. They say it's going to make things easier, smoother, and more effective. So I sat down with one of their members to really break down what that's going to look like for the average driver. Overall, it will be safer for everyone. The fewer people who stop, um, the better free flow traffic it is. That's Farzan Ahmed, the executive director of the Ohio Turnpike and Infrastructure Commission. He says toll booths are like any other technology. Every 12 years or so, the whole system needs an overhaul. So starting in 2016, the commission started looking into ways to make its next upgrade a significant one. Nationwide, the trend is for electronic and open road tolling. Basically what that means is more and more customers would rather not stop at a toll booth and take a ticket, but have uh, non-stop travel. So that's exactly what it did. It's a five-year, $250 million project. Easy Pass drivers can now breeze through the gates without once hitting the brakes. And there are ways of catching you if you try to sneak through. We have cameras that will take a picture of the license plate, through which we can identify the customer and send them an invoice. Ticket-based drivers, which Ahmed says make up only 30% of the people that drive on the turnpike, will still need to stop. But there's been upgrades to that system as well. Now, these automated systems will allow you to use your credit card or cash to get through the booth, and you won't have to talk to anyone during the whole process. And Ahmed says thanks to these new toll stations being more centrally located on the turnpike, 9 of 31 turnpike toll stops will no longer be needed and are now set for demolition. But if this whole process is designed to make traffic flow smoother, why not switch it out before all of the eclipse traffic on Monday? What if there were a glitch when we were switching? When you are switching a complicated electronic system, you must expect a glitch. So last night at 2.14 a.m. when we switched, traffic was low. We were prepared that if there's a glitch, we can address that glitch because traffic is low. And things worked out. Reporting in Swanton, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.